Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys, it is Tuesday and it's around 2.30. And um, I'm not doing uh, like per se um, what's for dinner tonight because we're going out to dinner for, um, because my brother and his wife and family are up from South Carolina and so we're going to meet them for dinner and, and go for some ice cream afterwards and just spend a little time together. We haven't seen them in months, and um, they came up, so, you know, we're, we're going to be, you know, visiting with them. So I'm excited about that. But, so I wanted, I'm just going to do little things today and just, you know, make up some sort of content with this and with, you know, maybe I'll video a little bit at the restaurant or for ice cream or later or whatever. But I just wanted to show you this because I made, the last couple of times I went to a restaurant, I've had some um, unsweetened tea. I always really loved iced tea. But of course, because of the sugar content, I can never drink, um, I can't drink the real iced tea. And Crystal Light has all that aspartame in it and everything. It's good, but it's really not good for me either. Don't worry. Okay, either. So um, I take, I, I, when me and my daughter went a couple of weeks ago to Chili's, I said, oh, let me order, un let me have an unsweetened tea. She said it's really good with lemon. So I figured, let me try it. And I can, you know, I can put some stevia in it if I have to. So I got it. Oh, it was so good. I put lemon in it and I put a couple of stevia. It was so delicious. So I figured, let me make my own unsweetened tea. So when I went out today, I bought this big thing of, at Walmart. I bought this big thing of the iced tea tea bags, okay? So what I did was I um, steeped the tea bag in water and then I let it cool somewhat and then I put it into the pitcher and added 64 ounces of water, of cold water to it. And I have an overflow for this, um, for this, it won't fit all in here, but I'm going to be taking some out of it now. So the rest I have in the pot, I'll put in here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some now. So I'm going to, I have a, a glass with ice. Let's put you this way so you guys can see me. Glass with ice. Okay. Now I'm going to cut up. I'm going to see how I like it without the stevia. If I don't like it without the stevia, I'll put stevia in. I think I'm going to have that stevia because, you know, I like it kind of, I like it. I like it a little sweet. Not to, it, you know, I, it's not, it's not, um, I don't really need that much though. One or two. So let's slice some lemon. I'm going to squeeze some lemon in it. There's going to be pits in it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And then I'm going to put these two in here. Like this. I'm going to push this down. We'll just mull it, mull it a little bit. Is that what they call it? How do you mull it? Something like that. All right, let's see how I like it just with the lemon. I, I think I'm gonna need stevia. Where's your phone? Are you here one? Here, pull up your thing, pull me. I'm trying to figure out my phone's not ringing. Your phone's not ringing? It didn't ring. All right, guys, it's really very good with without the stevia. It's good, but I like, I like it a little sweeter. So my preference is, you know, to have a little sweetener in it, so. Um, I'm going to put two in, and I think that should be fine um, for me. I got to pick up more stevia. I mean, I have a lot, but I got to get more of it. So I'm just going to give it a little mix. And it's unsweetened tea with lemon, with no sugar. Pretty good. I like it. It's refreshing. Nice and cold. I was looking at my tea bags. I got the chamomile and this tea is so good, guys. This lemon. These, are, these hot teas. 
I'm gonna make them into cold teas now. Mm. So I'm just gathering all my stuff up here. So I can put all my stevia on top. Because I I don't use stevia anymore really in coffee. Once in a blue moon, most of the time I use um just a drop of that extra extra cream from Dunkin' Donuts, which isn't great for me, but that's what I put in my coffee, just a drop of that. My hot coffee, my cold coffee, I use um, regular half and half, and then I use um, a little bit of my sugar-free, um, you know, caramel uh, sweetener. So, yeah. And Julie said that they have um, sugar-free, like, um, you know, uh, Things. What do I call it? What do you call it? Um, the sugar free, like sweeteners, like the raspberry and all that stuff, like to sweeten your tea with. So, I was in Walmart today, but I forgot all about it and I didn't look, look for it. But that's another thing I want to get because you can add a little raspberry to it, blueberry, strawberry. Something different. You know. It's summertime. I want to drink iced tea. Like, I don't want to, you know, I like iced tea, and I, f I have to feel like I'm drinking iced tea. Otherwise, you know, like that. I'm pretty good like that, guys, though. I don't I don't go for any of the sweet, sugary drinks, you know. I don't drink Diet Coke anymore. Once in a blue moon when I go out now. Like, I went out for to a restaurant. We went out last night to, for dinner. Didn't have iced tea. I mean, didn't have um, so Diet Soda. I had, um, I had the, the unsweetened tea, um, so I don't have, I either have water and I'll have unsweetened tea now. I don't, um, once in a blue moon, if I feel like a Coke, a Diet Coke, I will have a Diet Coke, but I'm very, I haven't had Diet Coke in so long, like I'm totally not addicted to it anymore. I used to be addicted to Diet Coke, like literally guys, really addicted, um, but now I feel like I can drink it. And not be, and not have to go back to it. So I can have one glass. Most of the time I don't even drink the whole glass because just, I'm not even really that fond of it anymore. I'm really not. Like I don't, I don't, obviously I don't crave it anymore. Any of that stuff. So it's good. So once in a while for a little treat, it's okay. But um, to drink around a regular basis, no. It's so bad for you. It really is. And I never knew it. Just, just think about how when you drink a soda, diet zero whatever it is still even when it's diet i drink used to drink diet co diet cokes and um i always had to have more than one like every time i drank soda it would make me thirsty i was like oh my god i need more more and more uh, it would just never stop because it that's what it does that that stuff that all those chemicals that are in it makes you um crave that sugar more that's what it does and it's really bad for you so, yeah, so, yeah. Mm. So, so good. And I can feel good drinking this. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel bad. It doesn't make me feel bad inside. So good. So, we went out to dinner last night. To um um where did we go? Texas Roadhouse. I don't know if you have a Texas Roadhouse by you, where you live, but if you do, go try it out. The, oh, they got such amazing food. Their steaks are like the quality of their steaks is like the quality from like a real expensive steakhouse, but the prices aren't expensive. I mean, yeah, it's not cheap, but it's not, you know, over the top. Like, um, I'm going to put out, I'll put the picture in here of my meal last night, the steak that I had. It was $29 for the steak that, like, I, I ate half of it at the restaurant. And then later, yes, last night, I was still hungry when I got home and I had the rest of it. So, it was two meals, or two, you know, two sittings or whatever. Um, but it, it wasn't bad, $30, and, I, and, and it came with... You know, two sides, and, um, and then, of course, they have the rolls that they give you. And, of course, we've got an appetizer or whatever. So, um, you know, but it's, it really is not expensive at all. It's really very, very reasonable. Um, so, yeah, so that was really good. So, tonight we're going to 
um, that Mexican restaurant that we went, that me and Billy went to a couple weeks ago that our date night, I have a video of that. And I, that's, that's when where I recreated the guacamole. Um, we're going there t tonight. We're going to meet my brother and his wife and, and the kids because they're up from, they moved, they recently moved to um, South Carolina, like, um, I don't know, maybe eight months ago, something like that. And so they're up for a visit. And so we're, we want to go, you know, we want to get together. So we're going to go for dinner at, this, at the Mexican restaurant and then we're going to go for ice cream afterwards. So we spend a little time together. I usually would have them over my house, which I have, have barbecues and all that. But just because Cooper is like not himself, even worse than he it normally is, you know, and having to keep him like tied up and all that, I don't want to have to deal with any of that and listen to him bark and, and all this other stuff. So I figured let's just meet out. We'll meet out. We'll have nice. We'll dip, have dinner, go for ice cream or whatever. Spend a little time. So that so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm excited. Yesterday we went out for dinner for Frankie's birthday because Frankie's gonna be thirty on Thursday. So yesterday, we, we, it was the only day that we could really do it because today he's out with his friends celebrating his birthday and all of that. So we went for dinner. That was where he wanted to go. We actually were going to go to the Cheese Factory, which we've never been to before. He's been to. It's his favorite restaurant, but he just changed his mind at the last minute. He didn't want to, It's like 40 minutes from our house, and he just didn't feel like doing that. So we went to a Texas Roadhouse, which is about 15, 20 minutes from our house. Um, but it was delicious, and he enjoyed it, so... So Thursday is his birthday. Thursday, um, I'll do a little cake for him, and um, and yeah, and that's it, you know. And um, he's the present we gave him was um, money towards um, something that he wanted, his iPad or something that he wanted. So we just gave him money, and he did what he wanted with it, and then dinner, and you know, um, whatever. So, but yeah, so he's gonna be thirty on Thursday. Wow, thirty three, thirty, and twenty six. Can't believe how old my kids are already. I mean, it's, I love it, but it's, it's sad, too. But, what's the old, you know, you gotta grow up and get old. So good, guys. So happy with this. I gotta go look for the top for this. I don't know where the top is. If I can't find it, I have those, um... Those things that you buy, um, you know, those little covers, like, they almost look like hair nets. I buy them at the, the, at the Dollar Tree. I can put that around it so it just stays, you know, covered. But, yeah, I, I know I have a top to this. I just don't know where it is. So let me put this back. And then I'm going to show you. I'm going to get the rest of the pot and pour it in there now that it's, um, now that there's room in there. Give me one second, guys. All right, let's see if I can fix, fit, fit the rest of this in here. I need a bigger freaking container. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a, about it. So I got about, I would say probably about another two cups in here. So I'll have to put that in something else. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about the Mexican restaurant. Last time I was there, I got um, these um, fried tacos. Ooh, they were so good. But um, I'm going to have something different tonight. I don't want those. I'm not in the mood for those. So anyway, I'm going to have, um, I think I, I might have, I saw on, I looked on the menu and they have fajitas. And I think I'm going to have, they have one with shrimp, shrimp, chicken, and steak fajitas. So I think that's what I'm going to have. I probably will have that. Either that or um, maybe regular tacos. I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to have fajitas. And I love, of course, I love their rice and beans and um you know, their, um, their refried beans. Oh, so good, so, 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 so good. Mexican is the bomb, guys. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. These things that you put over the, like, containers. So it goes right over and nothing gets into anything. Mm. 
I love these things. And the Dollar Tree, you can get a box of them. They have all different sizes. They're awesome. Dollar 25 Tree, guys. 